Hello everyone and I welcome you all to another video of our Q series and in this video we are going to look at uh, an interesting problem of uh, Q where we basically implement a Q to get our answer. The question goes like uh, given a number n the task is, uh, is to either generate and print all binary numbers with decimal values from 1 to n. Okay, so you must be wondering what is a binary number? Right, so binary number is uh, basically numbers which is made of 1 or 0 so 1 1 0 1 1 all these numbers comprises of only 1 and uh, 0 and 0 is not considered right because 0 it only can, because we need to print decimal value from 1 to n. Okay. Now, uh, one thing you can do here is you can use an infinite loop. Alright, you use a loop like while true. Right. And uh, what you are going to do is you are going to run uh, a number x from 1 till infinity right and right, are going to run the loop from 1 to infinity and for every number you are going to check whether it is whether it contains only 1 and 0 if it contains 1 and 0 you will do a count plus plus right and if count uh, Well, we have to, you know, do it for 1 to n. So you will basically have x less than n. Not true. Right. Yes, and x will be from 0 to infinity. So while x is less than or equal to n, what I want to check if x only contains 1 or 0, if it does, we add this number. So as you can see, this loop would be, yeah, taking a big go of n, right? But Suppose it was said key, you have to print the first k numbers of this pattern. So this would take a very high time complexity. So in such case, what can you do? Right, that is the question. So now this is the part where our q part comes in. Okay, suppose in our q, this is our q. This is our q. Right. So what I do is I insert one in this case. And for every iteration, what I do here is I'll remove this one. Okay. Print it and but I'll also in Q one plus zero and one plus one. So now our number is one zero and one one. Similarly, I'll do this pattern again. I'll take out one zero. And I'll add zero to it. So it will be one zero zero as well as one zero one. And uh, as soon as we you know uh, hit our counter equal to n, we we you know return the vector. Okay, so basically we have to return a vector of string here. So let's try and code this thing. Okay. So let's have a vector, right, and have, let's have a q, q, right. First of all, let's simply push uh, 1 to 0. Right. Now let's have string as this. 
I'll say while and let's have for loop for and i is equal to zero i less than i i this means this is the capital right yeah i'd say x would become our front row and i'll simply pop the first item now I'm going to push X plus uh, zero, right? And I'm also going to push X plus one. And since I have the X, I'll do uh, answer dot push back X. Now in the end, I'll simply you know, return my answer. Okay, let's try and compile this code. Hopefully there will be no error. Okay, so I output as equal to expected output. Let's try and submit this code. All right, cool. All the test cases are running. So this is all. Uh, this was a very basic question of our queue where we uh, got to know how to implement a queue in such situations. Now there are not many questions based on queue solely, but we have you know, uh, three questions or uh, graph questions where we have to use a queue. So we'll talk more about uh, queue and how to use them in trees and graphs and when we'll uh, study about the trees and graph part. So that was it for this video and uh, that was it for uh, QCDs as well. Now we will be moving forward with uh, another series which we will start from the next video onwards. Right. So if you have any doubt regarding Q or regarding this video or regarding any previous video, you might uh, comment it down in the comment section. So thank you for watching this video and see you later.